Welcome to the introduction to the PowerShell module UiPath Orch. First, let's try the get ps drag commandlet. As you can see, each provider allows various data structures to be mounted as PS drives. Similarly, the UiPath Orch provider mounts orchestrators modern folders as PS drives, making them operable. After configuring UiPath Orch and running the import module, your tenants will be mounted as PowerShell drives in the current console. Here, we have mounted two drives named Orch1 and Orch2, but there's no limit to the number of drives you can mount. In fact, some customers are already managing over 50 tenants using UiPath Orch. The directory command lists folders. Specifying the recurse parameter displays all subfolders. The recurse parameter can also be specified for all UiPath Orch commandlets. The cd command changes your current location. Use Control plus space or tab to auto-complete folder names. A dot represents the current folder. Two dots denote the parent folder, and a backlash signifies the root folder. These features enable free movement within modern folders. To create folders, use the make directory command. To move folders, use the move command. You can also utilize rename and remove directory commands. As you can see, you can specify multiple folders with the wildcard separated by commas. When specifying other entities such as assets and triggers, you can also use wildcards and commas to operate on multiple entities simultaneously. To list UiPath Orge commandlets, use get command. Currently, there are around 165 commandlets. PowerShell commandlet names always consist of a verb noun pair. The nouns in UiPath Orge commandlets always start with Orch. You can find commandlets by typing a verb followed by Orch and pressing Ctrl plus space. After the commandlet name, specify parameters. Parameters are name value pairs with name starting with the hyphen. Use control plus space after the hyphen to autocomplete parameter names, then specify the value. Values can also be autocompleted. Also, positional parameters let you omit the parameter name. For example, the first positional parameter of get or to process is name, so you can leave this parameter name out. All UiPath Orch commandlets allow you to specify the target folder with the path parameter. If not specified, the target is the current folder. To ensure auto-completion works correctly, always specify the path or recurse parameter before other parameters. For example, to list all processes in the tenant, run the command with the recurse parameter at the root folder. You can enumerate process names using autocomplete and specify multiple names with wildcards separated by commas. There are various commandlets available for operating on both tenant entities and folder entities. For example, get orch row is a commandlet used to check rows. Specifying expand permission parameter expands and displays permissions. In this way, each commandlet may have its own specific parameters. Let's copy rows to another tenant with copy org commandlet. Specify the name of the row you want to copy and the destination drive. That's all it takes to copy the row. You can also use wildcards to copy all rows at once. Finally, folders can be copied using the copy command. This automatically copies contained folder entities like folder packages, processes, queues, and triggers. There are command loops available for copying each entity, allowing you to copy specific assets or triggers to other folders or tenants. Currently, UiPath Orch is actively being developed and frequently updated. Please make sure to update it using the update module commandlet before use. Please note that this tool is unofficial and support is provided on a best effort basis. If you have any questions, please ask them on the Marketplace listing page. 
UiPath Orch is well designed as a command line based orchestrator API client and is highly flexible. I hope this proves helpful to you all. Thank you.